My name is Sarah Crellin and I'm a process support engineer. So you work alongside process, the lines running. If anything, any form of equipment that you look after breaks down, you're there and you fix it. I've, ever since I was young, I've always worked on, on engines. Well, my brother's motocross bike mainly. Um, I've always well, liked speed with cars, engines, push bikes. So, I know, so I've always just been tinkering. Um, like blacksmithing was, was, I sort of diversed onto that because I liked working on metal, I liked making things. Um, but alongside um, college, my college whilst doing that, I'd done fabrication, welding and engineering. Um, and I then realised actually, no, blacksmithing isn't for me. I want something that's different. I want something different every day. I want a challenge every day. So they tested me mechanically, electrically. Then I carried out an interview. Then it went on to the next stage. Um, and then from there, I got the job. You do two years of college. Um, along the two years of college, you um, are in blocks of being within the departments. So you just rotate just to get a feel of different areas, what you prefer, where your strengths and weaknesses are, and then you just progress from there. I think if I went in for a degree, you'd know it academically, but you need to learn to apply it as well. So I think that's where I'd find it difficult. And also, from coming straight in for an apprenticeship, people, you've got the skills already. That's what, that's what businesses want. They want you to be able to go straight into the job, rather than looking at a degree it's okay, well, they ain't got no experience to back this up. So coming through an apprenticeship, I think, yeah, definitely the way forward. It was for me anyway. I think if I went to UTC, it would have honed in, actually, this, this engineering is the job for me. It would have opened my eyes to, rather than diverse into different things to try and find my way, I would go, I would be able to go route direct rather than the long way around. Well, we are working for Honda as a company. It's a great company to work for. Obviously, they're re well, widely recognised. So, def working for Honda for me, yeah, it's, it looks good on your CV. <laughs> <laughs> Honda's been brilliant because I've been able to look at software, look at electrical, look at mechanical. Whereas I think they need to step back and have a look. Okay, so what's going to be the best opportunity for me? I think maintenance for me has been good because it, I can broaden my horizons with each one. So if you're a student and you're just looking for one particular application, try and find a company that's best for them. Girls can do it too. You have to justify yourself a little bit more. That's been the hardest thing. But once you overcome that and the guys are like, oh yeah, actually, she can do it. She doesn't mind getting dirty. She doesn't mind getting hands on. Then they just chuck everything at you. Yeah, go on and you do it. Each day is different. That's what I like about it the most. And I've got a variety of equipment, so you can always, one day could be just a massive software issue and you're just working on computers, programming. Uh, one day's electrical, or you can get the combination of both every day. And you're always, always just fiddling with stuff with your hands and always thinking that there's never a day where I've got a dull moment, I don't think.